Hey guys, what's going on? Third Street Reactions here. We're back. I'm Shane. Zach. We're back with The Bad Batch 2 by 4 Zach, last episode we had Crosshair and we had um, Commander Cody. Yes. And yeah. they had that epic fucking shootout at the end. They were sent to take out that droid. They were sent to take him out. That was part of their job. They had yeah. to do that. That way they can get to the, the actual <clears throat> leader of the planet who was holding the Imperial captive shitty little guy and then they kind of ordered them to kill him and this is and cody was like i said i wouldn't hurt him you said you wouldn't i did not <laughs> yeah but then crosshair executes the order yeah and then like they're at the i can't remember the wall but the tribute wall to all mm -hmm. the and i figured there had to be so many more names on that thing because mm -hmm. the clone wars and everything else mm -hmm. but they're at the tribute wall they had a conversation about living with regret and you know, he doesn't blatantly say it, but it's almost like, I think, Cody, you might regret things. And it was uh, at the end of the episode, it's revealed that he went AWOL. Um, so, yeah, that's where we left off. we got a fun episode coming now. I think it's pretty fun. I remember when I saw it going, oh, crap. So it's a, it's a tribute to this. I think you'll like it. So, guys, if you want to support us, we do put our full-length uncut reaction footage on our Patreon uh, for everybody. We also have the next four weeks early access. Make sure you come back here after to check out our review and Zach's review. Let's jump in. They make funny noises. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> I got you this time. <laughs> now you owe me two cartons of men tell me. Cartons. Not so fast. One more game. Double enough. I got another job for you. Hunter and Echo aren't back from the other mission yet. I would not call transporting 50 cases of nerf <clears throat> nuggets a mission. <clears throat> Nor is it a proper use of our skill set. Yeah, well, your skill set will come in real useful on this one. Especially you, Muscles. Maybe it'll be fun. Works for me. <sighs> I want to look at him as Donatello. Mm -hmm. Nerd. Yeah. I am beginning to understand the need for added security in a place like this. Zapatoma can be a little rough around the edges if you don't know what you're doing. But lucky for us... So Safatoma is a city on Sierra Lonis. Okay. Which named after the Italian director, Sergio... Sergio Leone. Yep. It's a planet originally created for an unused Clone Wars arc involving Cad Bane and Boba. So, uh, you yeah, know, riot racing. Mm -hmm. It's a little different than pod racing. I'm so sorry. You have a problem with droids, Ewan? You think you can make the split second calculation to one out there? You want to challenge Teo? I do not have enough information. What have I heard, Ewan? He's a voice actor's been a lot of things. No, no. Spectacle spectator. Right, right. Nah. <laughs> I was about to save it for the court. I've seen him and I've heard him in something recently. It's bugging the shit out of me. Did you recognize his species? Can beat my champ? How about our standard side wager? Let's see who has the better race. Deal. <laughs> he doesn't look cool enough to be talking shit. Who, uh... Malegi? Oh, yeah. So, Baba, he had a cool look. He did. Yeah. I watched a clip where he... Threw that thing back into that guy's engine. Yeah. And that guy's like, <laughs> with that funny ass noise. I'm like, this is so great. Yeah. <laughs> There's an extended version of that pod race, too. Mm -hmm. That actually did come out. Yeah. <laughs> what? The fuck's that droid doing in there? That's nuts. 
No disintegration. Yeah. Even like thematically, the way things happen is almost like the pod race in Phantom Menace. Like, we have a. This speedo is in bad shape, but some of it is salvageable. That's the least of my problems now, God. Hey! I'm good for it. That's not how this works. You. Why not make a double or nothing? Do we have a deal? It was literally like yeah, but she said, then we get Sid. Is he going to pay you? No. Ask that. So, his species, um, it's a du, uh, Duwutin, a Duwutin. Um, Force Awakens, when we first see him, but he's also an Inquisitor, like the lady. Oh, okay. Yeah. He chop. I think he chop off her arm or some shit. Mm -hmm. He played Leonardo's voice in the next to last installment like in those turtles with, with all the mystic shit. Really? Yeah, Netflix movie? Yeah. Huh, okay. A little more spanner. It's a funky looking drawing. I want to say he was in DuckTales too. Okay. Hustlers like us never change. Sooner or later, those outcasts you're hanging out with will get to know the real Sid. The real Sid, huh? I might surprise you. Is it saying you just don't drink anymore? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're stuck there. You might as well drink. You're, racing me you're not stuck here. here. I'm sorry. Why exactly are you uh, studying the track layer? I am analyzing the course and patterns of the races. It is fascinating. You are doing it wrong, human, and skill of which you have zero. I believe your strategy to be. Does he play Sonic's voice? It would be wise. I don't know. I I haven't really seen those. From your primary weapons is your only chance at victory. I might be wrong about the first two guesses I had, but the turtles things. But I'm damn sure he plays Sonic. Okay. Too. Uh, I don't think he's <laughs> Just like flopping him. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Just die and say that. We have to do something. I would be the racer. See, this is where they surprised me. I thought for sure we're going to see Omega. Omega and we're going to see her use the Force, mm -hmm. or at least tease us. But no. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> so one of those um, protocol droids it was just a head on a no it was the battle droid head on a protocol droid's body yeah but in the other one was a head on a battle droid's body so it's like they switched yeah I thought the, the other ones were just um, yeah we'll, we'll check a sec uh, maybe I'm wrong I thought the other two just one was painted up but they were both protocol droids Pit droids. Pit droids are a, just a nice, a, a cool yeah. little thing. Yeah. I love the sounds, man. Mm -hmm. What does Anakin call those things? What are they? Energy binders. You'll go numb for hours. Last brain. Nels expressed a low foam minor. Like, fuck that. Last brain, I think this sounds a little better than laser brain. Yeah. Shouldn't count, those assholes are rolling. You did it. Who's gonna it? Yeah. <laughs> We're square. That was some recent cop. He's all about the deal. Mm. He's shitty, but he ain't that big of a piece of shit. I, uh, I, I, well, I guess I owe you one. We're out of here. Hey, you three. You could have walked away. That loyalty is admirable. But with Sid, it doesn't always go both ways. Watch your backs. It's cool that he spoke up for that, even though he might just be an asshole. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, that was our reaction. Zach's reaction, I've seen it. I reacted to it on this channel, but... Yeah, we looked it up. We yeah. looked it up, and Ben Schwartz... He is in DuckTales, and he is in Ninja Turtles, and he is Sonic, and I was right and true! It was cool, and I, I was suspecting that I would know who played uh, Malegi's voice, but I, I did not recognize it during the reaction. But yeah, and also that Malegi is species. We first see that in The Force Awakens, there's some like, I think they're in, uh, whatever her name is, like the castle they go to, and he's just... That's not in The Force Awakens, though, is it? That's in the second one. No, no. They go to the uh, castle with the lady with the goggles, Maz Katana. The first one? Yeah, it's Maz Katana. He's just laying in the back, like, smoking, and there's some girl laying on his stomach, like a Jabba type character. Yeah. And then we see a female version who plays uh, the Inquisitor, uh, the Jedi Fallen Order, which he yeah. played. But uh, yeah, so it's just like, it, it was a fun episode. It's a tribute to pod racing. I, I, I do think it's interesting that they decided just to not do pod racing, but I think it was like, hey, let's make this. That, 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 that is something that happens throughout the galaxy. Uh, and that's and obviously it makes sense that we'd have it on other planets. But let's keep that visually representative 
in the hearts and minds of people who see when they see Tatooine. To me, the biggest ever wasted opportunity, I mean, there's still stories you can tell within Star Wars. There are, there has been books that have come out, you know, like the Anakin Obi-Wan book that came out. Getting Anakin back in a pod, mm. like, you know, when he's older, mm. it's like, it's been a while since I've done this, Obi-Wan. You know what I mean? Like, they, they go somewhere, yeah. they're stranded, and then they have to fucking win money, or the Anakin has to get in there mm. and do his thing again. Like, the fans would love that. It would be a good story. And I, I would love a Clone Wars animation style of him doing that. That'd be so fucking cool. Yeah, you gotta return to form. They told all kinds of stories of the Clone Wars, and they had like three more seasons planned in all these arcs. And one of those arcs was going to feature this planet, Serialonis, mm -hmm. which is supposed to be off the Italian director Sergio, what's his name? Leo. Sergio Leone. Sergio Leone. It was going to be an unused Cad Bane Boba Fett arc. Because we know they had a relationship, and he mentored him. Mm -hmm. um, but we, we see the, the end of that relationship, and we see, like, maybe a little bit of it, I think. They mention each other in the Clone Wars. Mm. But ultimately, that wasn't one of the arcs they got to do. The, the idea that, hey, the real Sid, you know, like, she might not show the same type of gratitude and loyalty. What do you think about that? Well, I thought it was interesting, and I did make a note of it. Yeah. And Malagi is kind of holding on to the past. He's saying, like, you know, she hasn't changed. Like, you know, you know yeah. like basically Sid's saying, like, I've changed. You don't know. I might surprise you. Yeah. And she doesn't want to be that anymore. Yeah. Like maybe she would have been in the very beginning when we're first introduced to her yeah. and they fall in with her. But over time, I feel as though the group is growing on her. Yeah, you see her, the reaction she got when Omega did that. It kind of soft. Mm -hmm. She gave this really soft thing. Yeah, when um, Tech wins the race. Yeah. So I guess I owe you. I feel as though she's got a history of being a backstabber, a yeah. snake, but she's obviously, you know, she's, turned, she's trying to make changes. Yeah. Whereas Malegi's the guy who's like, look, you know, what you did is admirable, a deal's a deal. Yeah. But watch your back. And so it's just kind of like a reminder when you've had experiences of people in your life content to always remind you yeah. of those failings. They want to keep you trapped and like locked into how they understand you. Yeah, they want to keep you down too. And yeah, mm -hmm. it, it was probably very tempting just to make him like have a shootout in the end. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it gave us like a new, a little more nuanced bad guy. Like he's, nah, he didn't just shoot him. He's like mad because he lost. Yeah, he's just against our team. He's a shady, crappy guy, but he ain't fucking evil. Yeah. Watto, obviously, he it's kind of the same thing. I mean, he also, Qui-Gon did kind of give a little verbal threat of get the fucking law involved, which would be the huts on that planet. Mm. Um, what kind of justice? I, I'd be interesting if there's a book of Boba Fett season two. Uh, well, you know, the huts are gone, but the huts have left because they didn't want to be there. Mm. They, need to, they, they obviously haven't explored that yet. But, like, they, they kept the justice, but it was like a like an old-time justice, from my understanding. Yeah. Yeah, Tatooine, what the fuck are you going to get if you go there? I mean, you're only there, if anything, because you're trying to hide from something, or you're there because of the huts. Yeah. Like, there aren't, like, there really aren't any other reasons. Like, yeah. moisture farming? Like, you were just had to be people that were just born there, and I guess is what you know. You didn't come to Tatooine to become a moisture farmer, I can tell you that. Yeah. In Andor, they, they, they re-canonize the Rakuten Empire, which I imagine probably means that there was a Rakuten war. The idea that they melded their, like, the Force with their technology, and they were, like, you know, they incorporated other planets and people. I enjoyed hearing Ben Schwartz and Ernie Hudson. Yeah. Uh, even though I'm sorry that I didn't recognize him during the role. Yeah. Um, but I, I very much enjoy um, a lot of prolific voice actors. And, um, you know, and even though Ernie Hudson wasn't technically a voice actor yeah. in the beginning, I would say. Yeah, it's cool to hear. Him. Yeah, but he's on voice acting, and it was cool. It was it was cool to hear him. Uh, and I like hearing things that remind me of pod racing. One thing I think I brought up in my original reaction. So he, Anakin was the only human who could race pods. Mm -hmm. uh, so I did look it up. These are slower than pods. Okay. Um, and you could argue that he is a genetically enhanced human clone. Uh, so he might have, and you know, he might have faster reaction time mm. and the ability to compute quickly. Yeah. Um, like the only other person that could probably compete on that level would be Hunter. Yeah, Hunter, yeah. Because Hunter's instincts yeah. are heightened. Yeah, so his instincts are heightened, yeah. yeah so you have one who's intellect and one who's instincts. Like you could argue that one of the two yeah. could operate on that level. Yeah. But, yeah, but tech, it makes sense. Because he's processing data yeah. at a higher rate of speed. Yeah. Which means that your body in general, even if your reactions are like still standard because of how fast you're processing that data, you're still going to be ahead of other people. I would almost guarantee it's either Dave or someone's like, hey, by the way, they can't be as fast as pod racing. Yeah. They because cannot it would minimize, disrupt the cannon. It would minimize. They cannot disrupt the cannon. Exactly. So we need good people 
on top, making sure, hey, you can't disrupt the cannon or undermine it. Or oh, yeah. Star Wars has to remain a pyramid scheme. Yeah, it has to. Like, that has to. Yeah. <laughs> With Dave on top. Yes. But anyways, guys, I think that's it. Hey, if you want to support us, just leave a comment down below. Tell us what you think. If you're not on Patreon, that's fine. We'll see you next week on YouTube.